I should say uh, I know protocol observed, but I would like to um, to say uh, um, good evening to the minister, uh, Mr. Lady Pandor, but also the chair of council, uh, Mr. Sipo Pitiane. I've actually got two messages. Um, one message that I'm going to start off is from universities of South Africa. That is on behalf of all the vice chancellors, uh, uh, the current vice chancellors uh, at the 26 universities in South Africa. Max, they all the messages that I received from, not all of them have submitted, but I've spoken to most of them. They just would like to thank you for your enormous contribution that you have given through USAF to the national higher education system. Some vice chancellors remarked that you were a pillar of strength. You were always available to listen and to offer advice. And they say some of those telephone calls where you offer advice can carry on for an hour or so. <laughs> but also as your chair, as the chair of the USAF's finance strategy group, that you have brought in a level of momentum of different thinking that will obviously will, uh, will keep the USAF in good stead going forward. So that's for us from the universities of South Africa. But I had a pleasure to work with Max as Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment, but also as Deputy Vice-Chancellor. And in fact, I have started two months before Max started in 2008. Uh, obviously, I started as Dean, and he then followed as the Vice-Chancellor. So what can I say about Max? He's hardworking, very hardworking. He had a clear leadership style. He's meticulous to detail, and I think sometimes he had frustrated meetings because he wanted to know why, uh, um, and the meetings just carried on. But that is what Max was about. He can explain highly complicated concepts in a very simple manner. He is indeed a good listener, but I also would say he's a decisive leader. So Max, there were good times, there were challenging times, but there were also great times. But through all of these, you stuck to your principles. And I see some of those principles Valerie have referred to. You showed, and I want to emphasize that, you showed immense resilience. And you continuously exhibited for me a composure that is befitted to the office of the Vice Chancellor through all of that period. And I certainly believe, Max, that you have strengthened the robustness of the UCT's intellectual base. You led UCT during two distinctly different five-year periods in your tenure, and you have done exceptionally. So I indeed respect you as a colleague, I respect you as a leader and as a professional, and I feel tremendously blessed to call you my friend. Best wishes to you and to Deborah. Thank you.